Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today a review of the GT Racing Striver 306. So I first want to thank the people of uh, GT Racing and especially Mr. McCree for providing me with a model to test uh, of the 306. And um, a very special thank you also goes to the director of my videos and the person that um, gives me some ideas from time to time is my daughter, uh, Kira. Thank you very much for, for your help. So when we look at the design, it is really an old school design. Uh, um, play seat evolution uh, type uh, seat, tubular frame um, with the one bar in the middle and the one bar going up and having the wheelbase holder on it. A very, very classic design. Apart from the red accents, it is a sober and safe design that will be able to please a lot of people out there. You also get some optional stickers with it, which is always a nice addition. The configuration of the pedals is two folded. Um, you can slide it away or closer to accommodate the length of your legs. And also there is a possibility to tilt the pedal base holder into 10 different positions. When we look at the wheelbase holder there, you can slide it over the, the, the central beam away and closer. And you can also make it uh, come up a bit higher. All the configuration that is available is done on the fly. Unfortunately, there is no inclination of the wheelbase holder possible, which is something that I really miss. And I also have to say that um, despite me um, uh, sending the, 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 the wheelbase holder bar completely towards the pedals, I still found that it came too low for me, uh, the, the wheelbase holder itself uh, with the steering wheel on it. The pre-drilled holes for configuration are suited for a lot of the basic wheelbases and pedals like those of Trustmaster, Logitech, Fanatec and even Camus. When it comes to the build quality, there are quite a few things to say about it. The seat is of decent quality with thick plastic faux leather upholstery and very decent springs in the bottom to hold your weight. The back of the seat is well finished with Velcro to have a very clean look. The folding mechanism works well, but when the seat is in an upright position, it does tend to wobble quite a bit. During driving, this doesn't disturb all that much. It doesn't squeak like many other seats on rigs in this and higher price categories do. The pedals on the other hand are a different story and feature an issue that can be found with other rigs of this type of design frequently. So the pedal base holder, it has a lot of flex, both in depth as in width. In depth, this is a problem because of the massive overhang that you have here. If you press your pedals, it is right at the top of the pedal plate and you just push the entire uh, structure down. Uh, also, you have here the choice to um, configure the pedal base on the fly. The inclination is on the fly, but this also makes that the, yeah, it's not as fixed as it should be. You also have the um, flex in the width and this is caused because it is attached to this single bar here, this single frame. Um, they implemented some feet but unfortunately they are so close to each other that they don't really have that much effect. If it would have been a bit wider the feet then perhaps the flex would have been a lot less also. And also the wheelbase holder has its problem with a single uprising support bar attached to a single horizontal base bar. And this is mostly because it is attached to the one single bar as the same with, with the pedal plate. And it is attached also with the hand screw for easy uh, configuration on the fly. Now, as you can see here, well, uh, oh, you can't because of the video, but there are a lot of marks already in uh, the in the chassis of that I tried to uh, fixate the, um, the hand screw. So there are no pre-drilled holes in it. And that is also already a reason why there is quite a lot of flex. Because the uh, uh, enclosure here, it doesn't fit 100% around the bar. Well, you can see that there is a lot of flex coming here too. No matter how tight that you, uh, that you close this bolt here, it remains here a, a point where it flexes. This could have been resolved if you have another, uh, another bolt here so that you have two attachment points for this bar and that you have some pre-drilled holes. 
The shifter holder is also quite wobbly when in use, but here I can't really say why it wobbles as much as it does. There are always ways to improve the stability with some DIY work and during my time reviewing hardware I have seen quite a lot of DIY playseat evolutions on steroids. What cannot be changed however is that bar in the middle. When driving with three pedals it gets uncomfortable after driving for a while. Footprint is one of the strong sides for this uh, for this rig. So I have it at 140 centimeter by uh, 62 centimeter with the gear shift holder in place and 97 centimeter high. So that's really, really a very compact rig. So for features, I think the most important feature here is that it is foldable too. So you can just uh, flip the backrest down and, um, and slide the pedal base into the uh, uh, the seating area to make a very, very compact rig and to store it. As one of the features, I think, yeah, the main feature, but it does also include a shifter holder. It also includes a carpet to put the rig on. And this can be handy because yeah, there are sharp, uh, metal uh, edges at the back of the seat um, and to provide to provide some protection for your floors and then a last thing which I also really appreciate is that there is attachment material foreseen to attach your wheelbase and your pedals this makes it really uh, a very uh, complete package and if you buy this well you, you won't have anything for ah, that's not included I need to go buy the uh, the bolts in the hardware store or something so no this very very complete package when it comes to options well I think the, the company is relatively new uh, they have um, an other uh, gear shift holder that you can buy extra one for if you want to put your joystick um, on it to, to, to play a flight simulator or something so they have that that's good but that is everything that they have so there's no display holders or anything that you can buy from them with a pricing of 203 euro it is quite cheap if you compare it to the competition uh, similar rigs 203 euro is very cheap now as always the shipping price needs to be calculated too and this can add a significant amount to the total sum you will have to pay for this cockpit as a conclusion i have to say that i think that the model itself is a bit outdated with the single bar in the middle i really had issues with my three pedals on it uh, configuration was not top either so yeah I think this model is a bit outdated there are in my humble opinion better alternatives for those who have the space for a fixed rig and for those that seek a foldable and storable solution even in the portfolio of GT racing itself now as always there is need for a bit of nuance it is a very cheap complete and relatively comfortable cockpit that doesn't take up a lot of space and is easy to assemble. While I have a lot of criticism on the stability of the structure, this is the reviewer in me speaking and I'm sure that whoever sits their ass down in the 306 will have a fantastic time driving with it. Thank you all for watching the video leave a like if you had something from it use the affiliate links and uh, the the voucher codes for the hardware to buy you will support this channel subscribe if you want to see more videos and i will see you all next one bye bye